some spots it's beautiful like this and this just came out don't know what it is is this a button oh no way yeah i think i got a merc hey so it took about an hour or so for that and i think i got my first silver pretty sure that's what it is and that just came out is this what i think it is waiting for the customer to arrive uh, I got about an hour and a half to kill so I said let me start early uh, so far first toll about six or seven yeah it's just a weedy but you know tells me a little bit first hole let's see what we got here new park altogether about maybe a foot or two away from that weedy I dug this up this is my target. All right, it looks like just some kind of dial. You can see like the reeded edge. You know, maybe some kind of dial for something. I don't know, but it's pretty heavy, solid brass. I'm not really sure what it before, but then I saw that. How crazy is that? This is just a completely lucky find because that thing's not a coin. And then I get lucky with that. Cool marble, not that old. So cool. This was only a couple inches down. I wasn't gonna record it because I saw that. But then I flipped it over and said, let me take a peek. All right, first year memorial. <laughs> All right, I think I found a pretty good spot. I, I just, sometimes I'm amazed that some of these spots haven't been detected. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I see grass, I see a park, old. I got a swing. <laughs> um, this is cool. This came out, I didn't record it. All right, it's another weedy can't tell the year 50s yeah but in the hole with it in the hole with it an Indian very cool oh one a baby all right cool good shape too oh Canada 73 Canadian. okay so as I'm working my way around this place I'm noticing there's fill dirt in some spots some spots it's beautiful like this and this just came out don't know what it is is this a button oh no way oh no way oh my god did i find a good spot yes i'm going to be in this little area for a long time oh man look at that beauty general service <sighs> wow okay let me clean it up oh, baby this made the whole day nice i was happy with that indian but now look at take a look at the back of this I, i'm not sure what that means back there the way that is you know sewn in maybe you guys can tell me a little bit more about this button i mean it looks old I can't see it being like a replica or something. Then again, what do I know about buttons? All right, let me know. Here's a pick. All right. I'm loving this soil now here. See the difference? So much nicer. And this proves it. Besides that button. Yeah, another Indian. Oh, yeah. There she goes. Maybe we can get a date if I stop moving it around. 
Oh yeah. 65 or 80? 80. 85 maybe. Let me clean it. Looks like a 95 maybe? Yeah, it's something five. 18, 95, 85. I don't know. I am in a different state. I can really only show you a little bit. Just don't want anybody getting their spot blowing up. I'm doing some work. Just finished. I got about three hours to kill. And I'm going to hunt this spot. I was here about a month ago. Maybe five weeks. And I did okay with some buttons. But alright. So the first hole was a clad dime. And the second hole is a weedy. Alright. That sounds good. Sounds like a good spot. Let's right. see. As you can tell, I am swinging the knocks. You know, very familiar with, remember my rule, unfamiliar territory, the knocks. Familiar, the man of core, and the dais. But that didn't take long. Pretty sure that's a silver. Is it? Yeah, I think I got a Merc. I think. I think it's a Rosie. Yeah, Rosie. Let me clean yeah, it. We got a 59. All right, just a Rosie, but it's silver. So, in a new spot, my second good target is a silver. Two minutes good. after that, this came out, which is expected, and I just dropped it. Looks like a war nickel. Yep, 45. That's my number. That's my softball number. 45P. Cool. This is like my 10th weedy or 12th. It's crazy. So many weedies. Not enough silver though. It's a ratio. <laughs> 1920s. It's been a little slow. Mostly weedies. I probably got 15 of them by now. Maybe more. Uh, maybe I'm exaggerating. But this just came out. You know, just a relic. Not that old, but something Started different. this on the ground. Now, what I want to do is leave it in Emma's room and tell her that whatever came out of this is bigger. <laughs> That's why it came out. No, I wouldn't do that. that. She'd go nuts. But I was thinking about it. Another new spot. This is beautiful here. Really nice. Uh, first hole. I mean, just a weedy, but it's the first hole. I'm just, you know, I am looking for something deep. And that's, this was the first deep target I got. Can't tell the date, it looks like 20s. Let's see how it goes so here. Now we're talking. I mean, it's ringing up a little high, which is weird. I gotta see what else is in this hole. But, we just got something nice. Nicer than a weedy. Yes, it is a baby, an 06, I wanna say. Yep, all right, 06 Indian. Oh, I Let's found what else. I was hoping to find. Aside from the weedy, aside from the Indian. This is what came up a 17 on the Knox. Oh, what do we have? Oh, civilian. Fancy civilian. I got money, civilian. Yeah. Look at that. Very cool. Let me clean it up a little better. Pretty looking. A lot of design on that. I'm gonna say mid 1800s. Very cool. Okay, so it took about an hour or so for that. Yeah, I knew they were here. Yeah, yeah, had to be. If I'm getting flat buttons, we gotta get some coppers. If I can hold on to it. Give me a minute, let me clean this up. I can't get anything. Ah, oh, drives me crazy. Definitely a copper though. All right, maybe when we clean it up, let's see. Cool. back out I'm in the woods now 
next to the spot that I found that Jersey copper. That's crazy, right? I mean, with the two Indians, the button. I'm in the woods right next to it because there's people on the field and that just came out. Is this what I think it is? Is this a grape shot? It's got like a little hole here, like it's some kind of fuse, I think. It's definitely lead. Yo, I, I never found something like this. It's incredibly heavy. Oh, can you guys please verify what this is? Thanks. Can't believe it. it must be close to a home site here. Pretty sure this is uh, internals to a clock. I'm not sure what kind, but I don't think it's that old. I don't know. So I moved. I didn't really have any more luck. I and mean, plus there was a lot of people on the field that I was on, so I was like, you know what? I'll try different areas. But I just moved back to the place where I got the silver quarter, that 1854 with arrows. Um, I got a largey here, Merc, uh, Buffalo, that silver ring recently, that KB, I think it was on there or something like that. Uh, but this just came out. It was sounding pretty good. Now I see why. It's a 43 S. I don't get a lot of S's. Very cool. Silver war nickel. I'm out. Oh, it's a beautiful night. Well, it's actually warm, but it's still beautiful. Why? Because we're out digging. Well, I am anyway. Um, I'm in a new spot. Never been here before. This just came out. This is wild. Never seen anything like this. It is a dolphin, I want to say. A watch. <laughs> Never seen anything like that. Look at that. What time is it? It is 5.39. Just the right time. Well, that last spot you saw me in, uh, nothing special. But I moved, and it's the next day. And I think I got my first silver. Pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah, looks like a Merc. All right, all right, it's been a while. Let me clean it out, that's a chunky one. That's gonna need some cleaning. I think it's a 41. I tell you what, I think there's a mint mark there too. Pretty sure that's a D. I, I have my contacts in, so I can't like take my glasses off to see up close, but I'm pretty sure that's a 41. Yeah, 41 D. Wonderful. Where's Emma's eyeballs? I'm not sure, but the first one came out of right there. I think I might have another silver. Uh, yeah. Pretty sure that's a, a rosy. Let's see what year it is. They come out so dirty. Yeah, it's a 50s. It actually is a 50. Wow, right, they come out really dirty here. All right, silver number two, five minutes later. <laughs> Out again, completely new spot. Uh, if you know that rock, then you might know where I am. I mean, I've never been here. Uh, first hole was a clad dime. And I think, I think I might have a silver. Yeah, look at that. Second hole. That's so cool. It's crazy when you just, you know, driving by a place, you're like, yeah, that looks like a spot. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a 41 Merc. They're very rare. 41 work, but it's silver. Let's see what else is here. Maybe some big silver. Part of the spill. We're at a 36 wheat. Yeah, silver dime is there. Somebody sitting on this hill. Always check the hills, fellas, ladies, gents. This just came out after a couple of weeks. Still no more silver, but this is cool. Looks like it had some silver wash on it. Maybe silver plated. I'm not even sure what this would be. I mean, it looks like some piece of jewelry, but I don't know. Some kind of scroll, top of a ring. I don't know. I'm guessing. Maybe you guys know. Nice. So here we are. Wow. <laughs> it's 
a lot of stuff, I know. I tried to cram it all on this board. Um, these are all my Wheaties. I think there might even be a few more somewhere. I don't know. There were so many in this one spot. Um, you could tell the difference with some of them. That greenish, like more toward the water, you know, sitting in water for a long time. All right, let's go back up here. Here's that uh, marble. And then this piece. I don't know what it is. Could be some kind of toy. Not really sure. Solid brass. Got a dog tag. Um, some dishware here. I love this stuff. I think I, I broke this one here. But that's that kind of stuff intrigues me. I like to hold on to it. Got a couple of Indians here. Pretty cool. I gave one away. I don't remember the year. I think it was an old one. War nickel. War nickel. Rosie. Rosie. Merc. Merc. So yeah, I mean, six silvers more or less. I mean, four ninety and two thirty fives. But yeah, you know, quite a few uh, little adventures in some of those spots. There was some pretty cool silver around. Got this bullet here too. Not sure of the um, age. I'm guessing late eighteens, but maybe somebody out there would know a little better than I do. Um, at this button, pretty cool. Really, really intricate button i mean this probably was expensive is what i'm guessing you know anything with a design that neat on it um then this button yes i don't know when you can see the eagle right there it looks like general service i'm not sure when this would be from but obviously yeah the shank was ripped out um maybe you guys can tell me a little bit more about it uh, I have found these before. I just don't recall. Pretty cool. This scroll piece, I'm not really sure what that's about. Uh, let's go back to up here because I just want to show this. There's a reason for it. This is a bicentennial quarter. The reason I'm showing it, today is the 4th of July. It was in my pouch. I was like, I got to show that today. Anyway, yeah, it's 4th of July morning. Getting ready for the, uh, getting the yard ready. Uh, for the uh, little celebration um then we got this yes cleaned it up finally sorted out what it was can't really tell much from that side but from this side you can see that shield right around here it is a jersey copper and it was found in jersey uh you can't make out too much on this side it's pretty toasted maybe a little bit of the horse's head but yes, that is a Jersey copper. So yeah, very cool on that side. But now, somebody please help me with this. I don't know, I'd like to believe this is either a grape shot. I don't think this is a very small, I mean, it could be, I guess, but I don't know. A small cannonball, really this small? Help me out here, you always do. Thanks to guys, guys, always thankful for you guys chiming in, you know? That was one of the areas I was in too. Yes, Yonkers, New York. All right, folks, yeah, this is uh, seven different spots. Some were new, some were old, but a lot of fun. See you on the next, here's some pics.